Hello there, viewer. Now, ever since I got their J20 Luminant, Black Flash, whichever name you want, I've been curious to see what Scifigure Industries' next product will be, and here it is. When I saw Egg Doctor, that's what it's called, my first thought was that's a terrible name. Second was how great it looked, I mean, here it is. But looking great and feeling great are very different things. So let's get to it, shall we? Starting in robot mode, this is a lanky bot, attributed to its thin helicopter mode. Speaking of that, I really like the use of helicopter parts making up the robot design. The cockpit being a part of the chest, these two bits being the, I don't know, the bits that are sticking out of the helicopter, the many layers that fold together to form the legs, the asymmetrical placement of the rotor blades, the back just looking this clean but still having helicopter bits to tell you that you know this transforms the wing placements it's all really really fantastic colors are also fantastic the black and light gray contrast to the bright and shiny gold found at the joints and chest area all daikas metal for your information gives it a nice heft and the gold that's found everywhere isn't actually gold, obviously, but it's some kind of mag magnetic material. And also gives the impression that what you see isn't actually the bot itself. It's just armor bits that are just stuck on. The gold, that's the skeleton inside. And I think that's neat. Sort of like the MGEX Mighty Strike Gundam. Anyways, it's a great color scheme that is slightly reminiscent of Hunt for the Decepticons Tomahawk, which I have here and have reviewed before, and is also the only helicopter transformer I have available for this comparison. And you can see he is very much taller than a deluxe, who was quite lanky to begin with. He looked like father and son. The head sculpt is alright, nothing fantastic, a tad bigger compared to the rest of the body, but it's a small nitpick. A bigger issue I have is this flap right over here. It's looser than expected, especially for the price. It tends to drop out when transforming. It's very annoying. Compared to this one, where it stays in place, not this one, it likes to slide out. Why? For the price, you'd expect better QC. On the bright side, this is a highly poseable figure. You have a fairly expressive head due to a ball joint, Lots of up movement and down as well. Got lots of arm movement. Ratcheted for that rotation. It's just a regular friction joint. These can just move out. Got elbows. Articulated hands. All individual. In that great. You can do this if you want. Moving off from that. Got a wrist, a tight waist swivel that I don't use because of that, an ab crunch due to the transformation, and a good range of leg movement. And the knee bend right over here, 90 degrees, thigh swivel, angle pivots, can go down that much, no up, but that's fine. It's really, really good. You can do, I don't know, whatever this is, I guess. For the price, 200 plus SGD, for me at least, you get a ton of accessories. Four sets of missile pods, cuboid, hexagonal, cylindrical, and exposed, all can plug onto the lower legs right over here. Just simply plug them in like so. And now you can have him shoot missiles from his legs. It's a neat concept. Now for robot only weapons, you get dual rifles. Ooh, they look nice. You got bits of silver right over here. And these bits can also detach, but I don't know where else to uh, reattach them, so just leave them there. And these two pieces that can combine into either a scythe, just like so, and just put these out and review the golden knife for scythe mode and it's quite nice although it looks a bit more like a pickaxe if i'm being honest 
if you want something a bit more tactical, you can just flip all these down, unplug this, flip this, move that down, and then just plug this out, plug this in, and then slide it in. Then level 4, sniper mode. I really do like this uh, accessory, which is a shame as I have a problem with it. I just can't for whatever reason get the sniper handle to tap in. It just refuses to. And that's really really annoying because it was advertised that he could hold this. But mine can't for some reason. He can hold the scythe no problem so I really don't know why sniper mode is just impossible for my copy. Well, on the bright side, he can hold these do rifles very well so it's at least something i guess here's what i'm talking about the do rifles are being held nice and tight and not falling out at all so it's a really big disappointment for this guy right over here <sighs> moving off on that you may be wondering where exactly are you going to store all those extra bits once you've found your perfect configuration well the included flight stand right over here doubles as storage just uh dump them in i've already done that side so this side over here let's just uh put the two disappointments of weapons and just slide them in the stand itself is great opening the door for many many poses like this rider kick and the fact that you can do a rider kick is great in and of itself i think that's enough waffling so Let's get the helicopter boat, shall we? In place of the transformation clip, I would recommend watching Pedroso's stop motion video instead. I apologize for mispronouncing that name. With how long it would take and speeding it up to roughly 25 seconds, you'd barely see anything. So, summarizing my thoughts on said conversion, it still baffles me how the designers came up with this. Because the end result is a cableless attack helicopter. Right? Oh, nothing here screams robot at all. It's got issues like the arms and that flap that refuses to stay on. But overall, it's a transformation you can do over and over. Just make sure that the parts are in the right places because if not, it can cause paint scratching as I've done with the head. Anyways, just like Black Flash, this is based on the real Z-10 attack helicopter, a rival to America's famous Apache. All that shiny gold and light grey hides itself, leaving just the black. But you still get other colours like the decals right over here, some miscellaneous insignias, uh, that, the slight glittering red of the camera, these bits right over here, and this weird tint on the top cockpit. Now for the bottom cockpit, this one right over here, you can actually open it up to reveal the interior. Sparse with details, but serviceable. The flight stand also converts itself for helicopter, as seen right over here. Just need to move this up for the helicopter, as you can see like this bit right over here. And then just plug it on, like so. This bit right over here helps stabilize it. You can also just move it around and it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look bad at all. The missile pods just complete the look and also plug in the exact same place as the legs. And you can sort of have tilting action. I wouldn't rec recommend tilting it that much because it would just make it very unstable to all the die cast metal. Both rotors can spin the main one very well. The rear one, not so mostly due to transformation it can get a bit uh, wobbly as well also due to transformation now the camera can move can look left to right can look up down for all viewing angles and the machine gun can also follow suit and that is all the articulation available for the helicopter as an overall package i do recommend this set but with the issues I have, weapon not properly gripping, loose parts, a discount is also 
highly recommended. But at the end of the day, I am quite happy with this guy, issues and all. And as a side note, apparently a bunch of people didn't get the dual rifles when they ordered it from the Shozi store, saying that it was some kind of like pre-order bonus but never mentioned it. I wouldn't know that because I used Amazon instead if I'm remembering correctly, so I guess I dodged that bullet. And with that, I hope this was helpful and I bid you farewell.